Hey guys, criminal defense attorney Ryan Pasiga. Today I want to educate you about the difference between a stay of execution and a stay of imposition. So on felony cases in Minnesota, oftentimes a prosecutor will make an offer that is a stay of execution. And that means that you plead guilty to a felony, but that you don't serve the prison time and instead that'll be hung over your head on probation. So maybe they'll say, stay execution of 36 months for a period of five years. What that means is you're not gonna go to prison if you take the offer and you do well on probation. However, there's two things with that. Number one, if you violate probation, they could then yank or pull a violation on you and a judge could then force you to execute that 36 month sentence later on probation if you violate probation. The other thing is, is that that's a permanent felony. A stay of execution is a permanent felony on your record. Sometimes there's no way around that in terms of negotiation, but oftentimes there is. The other, the difference is a stay of imposition. Now a stay of imposition also means that you do not serve that prison time that's hanging over your head on probation. But the difference is, is that it's a felony. If you take a stay of imposition, it's a felony while you're on probation for that one, two, three, four, five years, whatever. And then if you successfully complete the probation at the end of probation, the crime level converts to a misdemeanor, which is helpful. It's helpful for you in trying to find jobs. It's helpful for you in trying to sometimes find housing, like some uh, townhomes or associations or apartment buildings won't allow you to have a, felon, a permanent felony on your record when you're applying. It can help in uh, child custody matters. It can help if you want to become a youth sports coach or a volunteer for things later and a whole bunch of other reasons. So uh, they're not perfect, but a stay of imposition, of course, is, in my opinion, better than a stay of execution, all other things being equal. So just know the difference. A stay of execution means a permanent felony. Yeah, there's still a benefit. You don't go execute the prison time. Um, but a stay of imposition is even better because it means you don't execute the prison time plus the level of crime uh, convicted of after you're done with probation turns into a misdemeanor. It is still a felony while you're on probation. It shows a felony level conviction. But if you successfully complete the probation at the end of that time, it converts to a misdemeanor level conviction, which will look better on your record and can open more opportunities up for you. Any questions, you can find me at arrestedmn.com or call me at 612-339-5844. Hope that helps.